So I just wanted to show you our seed starting area. I'm just going to turn the camera around and it's half, it's half of our enclosed back porch. So this is one shelving unit with lights. This unit, well, it's actually, it's two shelving units with the lights and they've got a lot of space for this is when, um, because this is when the seedlings are a little bit taller because with the, Oh, that one doesn't have it, but there's crossbars on some of them, so we can't raise and lower these lights very well. So I just leave them. Um, if I need the lights, the plants to be closer to the lights, I put something on the shelf to under the plants to raise the plants up instead of moving the lights. Um, and, oh, that's some junk. <laughs> but that's our table. I just finished cleaning it up, and I'm going to get ready. That's my notebook um, that I use. But under the table... I have, um, I don't have it full yet. There's some water in there, but one bucket, big, um, I don't know how much it holds, but it's pretty big with water. And then we put the seed starting mix in another one, um, because it's always very dry and dusty. So you want to get it wet before you use it. So, and then that's also for watering the plants over there. And we have a couple seats because mom usually helps me. Um, so these are the, <laughs> my Whitman sampler box I saved, um, March seeds that I'm going to be starting. Mostly it's some flowers and a few herbs. Um, we have a little space heater under here to warm up the porch a little. We have a fan for when we have seedlings to give them a nice little breeze. This is another um, uh, set of shelving that I have. And this one I can raise and lower the lights as much as I need to. And then over here we have like a little mini greenhouse that I know a lot of people have. I have my um, heat mats in there and that's where I put the seeds to germinate them. I can close the door down and um, keep it nice and humid in there and moist and warm with the seed, the heat mats. So I use it kind of like a germination chamber, but that is pretty much. And then we have all these windows and right now you can see it is snowing outside. Um, so we have a while before we can actually get outside to the garden, but this is, and then all my pots and stuff are down here. Um, so this is where we start our seeds. Anyway, it works for us for now. We're hoping to finally build our cattle panel greenhouse this year, but we'll see how it goes. But just some ideas if anybody can use them. <laughs> I just wanted to add that we've used this setup for, I think this will be our third year. Um, before that, we either bought transplants or we had to um, start them in the house and there's not a lot of space in our house to start them. So this works a lot better since we got it set up. So hopefully somebody got some ideas and you can use them and happy planting. <laughs>